This next song is called Insurgent View. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome to LogFurnitureHowTo.com. You guys ready to rock today? <laughs> today we're going to make a set of rocking log legs. Let's do it. So, we've got Dave here sanding. We've got Alex over here working on blocks. And we got the CNC machine cutting, cutting. Thank John for ordering one of these blocks last night. Here it is, buddy. We're going to get this shipped off to you today, later today. He was watching yesterday and saw it. Thank you. So we got an order last night for a set of these rocking log legs without the arm. So let me show you here how easy it is to make these. So it's, it's pretty clear to see that everything's the same on these as our regular bench. We just add the rocker. So we start off with the basic back and see. And you can see here we've got these legs already cut and we notch out the bottom. So they're a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter than our standard bench legs. Three inches actually shorter. Take a minute here and we'll tack up a set of these bases and backs to some of these legs and then we'll go to work on the rockers. The biggest thing to keep in mind here is we want to make sure we're lining these things up so that the rocker goes long ways with the frame. Just like that. Then we just tack everything into place. Now we got a left side and a right side. Alright, so as soon as we get those welded off, the next step's pretty simple. We just attach the rockers. But how do we get the rockers? And this is our tool of choice when we get ready to bend our rockers. It's a compression roller. You can see the tubing fits right between there. See here we're using two inch tubing that's outside diameter 14 gauge tubing and they always have a seam on them there it is right there we're going to use this seam as a guide we'll put that to the top as we feed it through the die and you see we just set it between the two dies down here we'll come down to this end over here and you see the seam is up so we'll just know that that's up we'll reset it there and we tighten this up once we get it snugged up, we want to just make sure we're right on this edge. And then we just put one more little bit of pressure on it. Not a whole lot. We don't want to overheat the, the motor. Now it's ready to roll. Now you can see we've added this Harbor Freight pipe threader to this. This is a Harbor Freight tubing roller manual that we've done in addition from Swag, from Swag Off-Road. Swag Off-Road. Go check them out. They make some cool stuff. They, they do add-ons for, for other tools. So here we... All right, so now it's just a matter of turning this thing on. We start running it back and forth. We're putting compression over, compression over the top of it, which is causing it to curl upwards. It'll take half a dozen or more passes. We don't want to overheat this, this tool right here. So we'll get right to the end here and stop it now. And then instead of running it in reverse, we manually reverse it. I don't want to want to overheat this pipe threader and if you run it in reverse it will it'll overheat it so we just basically loosen this up now and then back it up push this back through manually this way and on the next pass we're going to turn it around so we're making sure this is staying lined straight up and down all right so we've got our line our line marked up we put a little more pressure on it back at the start point and here we go again We're gonna stop it right now. So there you go, that's the start. That's just uh, one of a few passes. I think you get the idea. We'll just do this half a dozen times or more. All right, 
So we gotta do this quite a few times. We're looking for a 46 inch radius. I'll show you our jig. Once you think you're getting close to the radius you need, I've got a little jig set up. Let me show you that. We go over here and we use this. This thing cuts to the exact radius we need for our rockers. And you'll come over here and put it down and you'll tell if it's lining up with the bottom edge. You can see right here it's looking close, but we actually have to make one more or two more passes. And then we'll have one rocker. So we'll just keep going one or two more times. Question, this takes a little bit of time, but this tool right here is sure beats doing this manually. Believe me, I know, I used to do it manually. Remember though, you just don't want to overheat that. You just don't want to overheat it. So once we get them to this step, we'll get them over here, and yep, to our LS saw, and set it up, and we'll get three, three footers, out of each 10 foot piece. So for a 20 foot pipe, we get three sets of Get back in here and I'll show you what we do next. It's actually pretty easy. We just cap these off and weld them up. So the next thing we got to do is cap those in. And I use this 18 gauge sheet metal. We'll make some caps real quick. You've got a couple options when it comes to cutting 18 gauge metal. You could use the cannibal. It's a little nibbler. Right now we're going to choose to use this shear. It's just a, it's just a little electric shear. Set it up, drive it right through the metal. All right, so it's as easy as that. Now we got a two inch strip. We're gonna cut it into two inch squares, then we'll bob the corners. Got a bunch of these cut in the squares. Now we're just gonna take the uh, Cut them by hand, we'll bob the corners by hand with these sheer snips. We'll get them like octagons, like little stop signs. It doesn't matter if they've got a little bit of a gap, we'll fill that with facts are it's actually better if it's a little bit too small than too big. It's easier to, to weld and get a cleaner weld. A couple of these tacked off, now it's just a matter of welding them off and then grinding them clean. Know what's next? I'm gonna take these right over here to the multi tool. Just as easy as that. Check that tool out at tricktools.com. Now you can see we've got that there. We've put in this here. We've got this. And this in one hand, we've got that in the other. All we gotta do is weld that in place right there like that. Boom. Here. Sit up and do the other side. That's really about all there is to it. That's how we make our Colorado rocking logs. <laughs> For now, these come in kits, both welded and unwelded. So you can order yours online at lovefurniturehowto.com. I wanna keep welding here. You be sure to tell your friends and neighbors about what we're doing here. Come back tomorrow and we'll do it all over again. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.